hi guys, it's Sophie. So, I have had a busy day today. Um, <laughs> I've done all the things and I'm sitting down to film quite late in the day, but I'm quite happy with what I've done. I have finished my qualification, I baked a cake, I've gone shopping, I've got my dad a birthday present, I bought this dress which I really like, I'll show it to you in a sec. Um, what else have I done? I did the cleaning, I looked after the cat. Um, yeah, so I've kind of done all the things today and now I'm gonna sit down and try and film two videos and edit two videos. Um, but what I thought I'd do today, because it just feels like it would be nice to do and... Ooh, my cake's baked, one sec. Yeah, it just feels like it would be nice to do a TBR. I haven't done one in a while and I'm really in a bit of a reading slump. Um, I will have already uploaded my wrap up for June and you'll see in there that's not a very me month. Um, and I just thought I'd try and give myself a TBR to try and motivate myself a bit more this month. Um, I'm not really hard on myself, I've had a lot going on in the last month. I know I've not been in a good headspace for reading. Um, so yeah, there's no like bad feeling toward myself for not having read as much as I normally do, but I do want to gain that back again and feel like I can read more. So the ones I'm sure on uh, is really about trying to finish some stuff because um, I have a pile in my lap of stuff I've started and haven't finished. So I really want to finish Beloved by Toni Morrison. I am 143 pages of just over 300, so basically halfway through this one. Um, I'm enjoying it, I just keep putting it down. So yeah, I'm gonna, ooh, I have a cat attached to my leg. Here's the cat. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to work my way through Beloved and hopefully, hopefully I'll finish that one off this next month. But I just, I'm in a proper slump at the minute so I might just put it down, we'll see. Gonna have a go at Beloved. The other one I'm working my way through and that I want to finish off this month is Panzeram, A Journal of Murder. Um, again, like you might be able to tell I have a cat, it's eating everything um, and I have like a hundred pages left of this one um, and I'm yeah hoping that I can finish this one off this month. Now I have five books here that I have started and have not gone anywhere with since starting them um, and I'm going to, I'm going to eat them and mow them because I can't bother to pull up a random app and I'm going to try and finish that one as well this month. Okay so it's The Heart is a Lonely Hunter, I had that one on my TBR last time um, and I actually was enjoying it, I literally just put it down and then didn't have the desire to pick it back up again, so gonna have another shot at this one. Um, I feel like these last books are gonna be hard ones because it's not that I'm not liking them, it's just that I don't have like this really strong desire to read any of them at the minute, and I could just put them down and wait, but I also really want to tick off the last goal I have for the year, which is to finish all the books that I owned um, in 2016 by the end of 2017, so as much as I could just wait, I really do want to get it done. So yeah, The Heart of the Lonely Hunter is going to be the third one I'm going to try. Now I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to choose two from my pile that I've been sent for a review because I haven't reviewed a book in ages that I've been sent because I've been focusing on these ones and not finishing any of them. And I'm going to choose two that are my new hauls that are going to be like my whatever, whenever you want, just read them. Um, and I'm going to eeny meeny miny mo them too. So I'll see you downstairs in just a second. So before we go downstairs, this is my dress. It is tied up at that This is my dress. I like the dress. So yeah, that was only £15. Top top. Good job. <laughs> okay, the lighting was too crap for me to show you me like any mini money mowing it. So I've just grabbed some and I'll show you which ones I picked out from my sort of like random selection. Um, so the first one I have is If We Were Villains by MLVO. Now I've heard really mixed things about this one. Some people seem to think that it is a bit of a flop and some people seem to think it's quite good. Um, I don't really know. It's been blurb is kind of being similar to The Secret History. It's about a collection of um, young Shakespearean actors to whom some disaster befalls one of them um, and they're all kind of suspecting each other and it's all tied in with um, like classical Shakespearean plays so yeah I'm interested even if um, it's not been sort of done you know it hasn't done as well potentially that has done but I know this one's out already <laughs> if you can hear anything that's Foster. Um, I know this one is out already so if you want to get your hands on what it is about um, but yeah I'll have a go at that one. And then the other one I picked up is one that I was really excited for and that one is Twilight by Ellie Weasel um, and this is one of the ones that I was sent um, from the Penguins Essential collection and it was Holocaust, mental hospital, people who think they're God like all put into this isolated mountain community and it's really short. So yeah, I'm excited for that one, we'll see what I think soon. And then the two I picked from my most recent hauls, again like by random method, are Politics in the English Language by George Orwell, which I'm really looking forward to and it's really tiny again, so glad I have a short one and I'll actually be able to finish something um, pretty soon in this month, so I, I have some confidence back I suppose. Um, and then the other one I have, I'm really glad I picked, um, because it is in my last video, if you saw, it's one of the books I was most looking forward to getting to, um, and that one is Exit West 
um, by Masim Hamid and I've been, yeah, I've been really excited for this one for a long time. I'm really glad that I'm actually going to get to pick it up. Um, really hoping that I like it as much as I think I'm going to. I know that, um, I think it's Simon from Savage Reads that really like this one, so yeah, I'm dying to get into that one. So those are going to be the books that I've chosen for my July TBR. Um, I don't know what I'm going to read really, I'm trying to push myself for those ones that are like to get my zero by 17, um, but I'm really struggling with them. So I may go off piste, I may just decide to read more of the ones I have on this bookshelf if I find that I'm not getting slumpy when I'm doing that. If I'm just slumpy in general though, I'm going to keep trying to push for those books. Um, but we'll see, hopefully that's been interesting and you have liked hearing a little bit about what I'm going to read next. Um, I think I'm actually going to settle down with politics and the English language and a cup of tea and just read that now because I think it'd be really good for me just to feel like I've done something and achieved something because it's been a little bit of time since I've actually finished the book now um, and then maybe back on to Beloved again. But anyway, I hope you guys are well. Let me know what you're reading down below. Um, let me know what you guys tend to do in your own reading slumps. I get them very rarely. Um, so yeah, what's your best tip? Um, and I'll chat to you guys soon in my next video. Bye! Thank you.